Well, if you've been wondering where Ernie Gaskin has been for the last three years, he's been here in Nazing building these four massive houses. This is the site from where he used to train 80 greyhounds at Romford. Ernie Senior lives in that bungalow just over that fence there. Now, after a break from the sport, Ernie is back and this time around he's doing things a little bit differently. It's been a challenge. It's, it's, been, uh, it's been an experience of a lifetime. Um, I don't have any regrets because I say I think we've created something lovely here, you know, and it's a lovely place to live. I want to, I want to train grounds now. I don't want to build any more. Did you miss it? Yes, I did miss it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so I've been looking after grounds um, my entire life, literally. Um, when you um, have a, a step back and, and have a spell out of it, you, it makes you realise, you know, how much of a part of it, a life it, it is, you know. And, and so, yeah, so I'm really glad to be back. Now you have got your training licence back again. You've got an ambition to do it very differently to how you've previously done it. Yes, yeah. And so, I mean, I, I've experienced all different things um, in, in the past of running large kennels. I just want to, I've got a kennel for 12 dogs maximum and I don't really want 12. I think eight or 10 dogs maximum will be fine because I want to just keep, give them all individual attention. I just want them to, uh, to handle them all myself, you know. Um, so yeah, so it, it is quite different. Currently, we're up to five dogs here and we've met them all today. I think it's fair to say that they're all an exciting point in their, their lives and their racing careers where they could be anything. Do you find that exciting, that part of it? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. So this is the exciting bit, you know, to say they've, they've all got potential. Um, they're all young dogs that uh, we're just nurturing along. Um, so, yeah, as I say, this is the, the dream is still alive with all of them. Duncan Becky was your first runner back with your renewed career, shall we call it, yeah. and uh, oh, she gave you a great thrill, didn't she? She won her first race back, yes, yeah, um, back in, in, in my first runner. Um, it was an A6 at Toaster, um, and she won it, and uh, yes, yeah, she, she's done, she's doing really well. And you think, you know, the, the sky could be the limit, you're thinking potentially the Oaks? I, I would certainly, she, she runs Toaster so well, I, when, when I heard that uh, Toaster could be getting the Oaks, I, I, I was jumping for joy. Um, I, uh, I would definitely give her an entry uh, for all as well at the time, because uh, she, she may not be the best bitch uh, uh, in, in it, but uh, she won't be the worst either, you know, and, says, and home advantage w would help her, you know. She's racing around about A2 at the moment, how good do you think she can be? She's a high grade, I mean A2 at Toaster is, is it's tough, you know, it's a, you're, you're running against open race dogs um, in every time. Tell us about Mane Mane. First of all, I guess we should mention the name. Um, the breeder um, is a Liverpool fan. He, he tends to uh, ha have some kind of a connection with Liverpool Football Club where he names his dogs. So uh, the footballer, I don't, is, he, is, is it Sergio Mane, is it? Uh, um, I believe the, uh, the Liverpool fans, I mean, I'm a Spurs fan myself, so I, I, I don't really know about these things, um, but um, they, they, they sing Mane Mane, so that's how he got his name. And you've watched this dog race a couple of times at Thurles, you've seen it on the internet, and you were really taken by him, weren't you? He, he's got tremendous burst of early pace. I, I'm really excited uh, about him, yeah, I'm really pleased, and, and it's, it's an, an honour to have the dog. I really hope that uh, he, he could turn into a, a, a top open racer, yeah. Got to get him uh, fully race fit, um, but I, I've, I've got a good feeling about the dog, yeah. And with him, of course, in the time we've had this heat wave, along with all your dogs, and I, I guess this is the, the joy of not being under any pressure to race your dogs, you're, you're really taking your time with them in this hot weather. That's right, yeah. It's, it's been a big advantage not to ha have a contract where you, you, you have to supply your, your, the, the runners. Um, I've, I've been able to just take my time with, with all of them. Um, all the owners that I have, all the different partners, you know, they were all great. They, they, they support me with whatever I, I say is best for the dogs. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward now. I know it's lovely this weather, but I'm looking forward to uh, getting a bit cooler weather so we can really start training. Penny Parker is a very young bitch, just a September 16. And you think that her future could be a good one over six bends maybe? I, I certainly hope so, yeah, she's shaping up. She's had three races at, at, at Toaster over 480 um, and running on strong each time. Um, a pedigree suggests that she'll stay her running style, um, but as I say, she's, she's September 16, so, you know, I, I, I don't rush young dogs, you know, so um, 
if, come the autumn, I would like to think that she would be strong enough and, and ready to step up. And then, yeah, so I, I'm, I'm hopeful that she's going to, to be a good class six bender, yeah. And she's owned by a group of guys who you're trying to convert to dog ownership from horse ownership. How's that going? That's going really well. I mean, they're, they're all uh, my friends uh, anyway, you know, and, and uh, we're, we're all enjoying it. Um, and this is their first experience with, uh, with, with greyhounds and I think they're enjoying it. I'll be pleased to get them a winner. <laughs> Tell us about Burgess Miali. She is um, um, a, a young bitch that uh, we bought from Ireland. She's had seven races in Ireland at Yole and Shelbourne and she won four of them. She's got a huge uh, amount of potential. Um, a little sister, uh, Matt Dartnell, has Ella Juliet, who, who is, is started extremely well. Um, so, yeah, so I, I'm hopeful once again that she will shape up to be a stayer. She's only September 16. Once again, you know, we're just taking our time. We haven't raced her yet, we're just taking our time with her. But when she's ready, we'll step her up and uh, run her over the longer distances. And hopefully she's going to be as good as her sister. I think it's fair to say the dog probably that's the biggest character here is Marco's Diamond, unsurprisingly, because he's the son of Blackstone Marco, known as Neil to you. He's a, a, a young dog that, um, so Paul Carpenter, Kevin Deer, um, they, they obviously, they, they had a, a pup out of the first litter uh, of Marcos. They've taken their time with him. He's October 16. Because he's such a big boy, I mean, he weighs 38 kilos, um, but it, it is, he's a beautiful dog. He, he looks like he, he needs a big running track because he's such a big boy, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see what he's all about, you know, but yeah, he, he is, he's, he's a beautiful dog. He's such a, a character. Um, yeah, I, I, I would be absolutely thrilled for him to, uh, to turn out a good one, you know. Of course, your dad won so many classics and you were alongside him for a lot of those and, and remember them as well. But for you now here doing greyhound training this way, what's the ambition? The ambition is to be um, competitive with all the category one races. Um, you know, I, I'm hoping to get a, like a, a, a high quality a dog. Graded racing, as anybody that knows me, they, they would know that it's never really been my, my scene. You know, I, I always love the, the open races and the big competitions. So the idea really is for me to, uh, to be competitive and, and to win some of these big ones. And of course, Toaster is a great place to be for that. They've got so many of the competitions now, as you mentioned. Is the Derby on your agenda? Is that the ultimate dream as with so many? Of course it is, yeah. yeah. I, I love Toaster. Uh, I think it's the best thing that's ever happened to, to Greyhound Racing. I really do. Um, I mean, I was brought up at Walthamstow and when Walthamstow closed, you think nothing could replace it. Well, Toaster is, is, is going pretty close, you know. So to win um, a derby at Toaster would be the, the ultimate for me, yeah.